Thank you, Mr. Bell, and that fabulous keyboard of yours. Roland, Roland, Roland. Yes, indeed. Joining me on the line is the CEO of Canada Delivery, Drone Delivery Canada, is the proper name of the organization. His name is Michael Azara. Hello, Michael. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me on. No, oh, my my pleasure. So you're uh, you're joining me on on the phone. You couldn't get like a drone to drop you out. Uh, well, in the future, maybe. <laughs> yeah. uh, how how much capacity you, you're you're focusing on? Three of your your drones: the Sparrow, the Robin, and the Condor. These are delivery drone drones. How much can they can they carry? How much can they deliver? Yeah, that's right. We've got three uh, showcasing at the auto show uh, right now, and uh, the smallest one is called the Sparrow, and it's electric, and uh, its capacity is about four and a half kilograms or about ten pounds for. 30 kilometer range and then on the other end of the scale is the condor and its capacity is about 180 kilograms about 400 pounds and about a 200 kilometer range well that's pretty good so that's now you're, so yeah. you have to take you have to take in mind um when you're talking about 200 kilometer range you really can't deliver anything over 100 kilometers right because it's 100 there and 100 back right well, it'd, it'd be a total distance of 200 kilometers. That's right. right. You could, uh, depending on what the network looks like, it could be there and back, 100 each, or it could be a, a milk run or a hub and spoke, depending on what the company wants to use it for. Mm -hmm. now, I'm curious to uh, uh, to understand your relationship with Air Canada. Sure. We signed a, uh, a deal with Air Canada uh, June of last year. They are our commercial partner, and uh, we're working together and uh, they are representing us to sell and market our service globally. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. how, long, how long do you think this is going to become before it's commonplace? Well, in the, in the B2B or business-to-business -business applications, uh, it's actually happening right now. We've signed our first uh, few customers the end of last year, and uh, we're literally implementing them as we speak. Consumer uh, deliveries to your home are still a, a few years away, but business-to-business Courier, mining, medical, oil and gas, these sort of uh, business applications are happening as we speak. Well, they are. Well, that's pretty yeah. good. And, yeah. and as we know, when air, when aircraft are, are flying in the air, there are air, air ports all nearby uh, that have um, flight controls and people monitoring the paths right. of these aircraft. Right. Uh, once drones become a regular thing, a commonplace thing, who will be doing that? We have, um, we don't just sell a drone, we have a whole system, and part of that system is a, is a software uh, system called Flight, and we've got uh, technology within the software and the hardware that we can detect other aircraft, other drones, even large birds, and we can do what we need to do to deconflict the airspace. So the drones run automatically unmanned. Mm -hmm. We monitor them with our uh, control center in, uh, just outside of Toronto in Bonn. And we can take control if necessary to, to deconflict any kind of situation. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that's pretty good. I guess that's relatively safe. It's um, very safe. <laughs> okay. Um, well, there's always concern, as you, as you understand, right? I mean, you don't want to be walking down the street and suddenly two, two drones collide over your head. Of course. Yeah. Now, will you be selling these, renting these out, or just delivering for other companies? So we uh, provide a turnkey solution as a, as a managed service, meaning we would provide a system to whoever wants to use it. So it could be a FedEx, a Purelater, a Canada Post, or you know any career company. It could be to an actual mine that wants to use it. It could be to an oil and gas company that wants to uh, make shipments out to an oil rig at sea. So we sell a turnkey solution to a company, then they use it either for their own internal use or as to provide it as a service to other businesses or consumers. Oh, so if I come to you and say, listen, I need one of these for, for my business, whatever it happens to be, um, I would uh, negotiate a price with you or you would tell me the price and right. then you would go, uh, go about teaching me and the people in my company how to run this properly. That's right. We would sell it to you as a managed service. We would set up the infrastructure and train you how to use it and then uh, for a a monthly fee, we would uh, monitor the system and manage the system and license the system to you. So um, it's really a turnkey system, but it's uh, uh, depending on the application of the of the end user, whether they're then going to provide that as a 
uh, career service to other people, or they're using it for their own internal uh, cargo. And you, and you mentioned the license. These all need to be licensed. That's right. Um, so we are certified by Transport Canada. We were actually the first in Canada to be uh, a compliant operator for, for cargo drones. Um, and we provide the, we license the service uh, to the end user company, whoever that happens to be. The aircraft are still owned by us because these are federally regulated aircraft. They've got a tail number on them, just like you would see any other aircraft. So mm-hmm. uh, we provide it as a managed service to somebody else. Mm-hmm. All right. So what about people who, who currently own drones? Because you can go to, you know, various and sundry places in, in malls and you can pick up drones and there are people who, you, who, who buy these things for, for whatever reason. Right. They're not licensed. Uh, well, actually, as of June of last year, you have to be licensed, even if you're just using a uh, consumer drone for your own recreational purposes for photos or video. Mm-hmm. You have to get a, you write an online exam and you get a basic license, the government calls it. I think it's like $10. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you are using the drone for commercial applications, say, for instance, for uh, commercial video or doing a real estate video or these sort of things, mm-hmm. uh, and then other criteria, and then you would have to get an advanced license. Again, it's a, it's a course, it's a fee. That's more for the consumer side, for the the business side or industrial side like we are, it's a, it's a different process that we get uh, the aircraft certified and get the company certified. But right. uh, even as a consumer, you need to be licensed in Canada. All right. So people want to see uh, these, these, your particular uh, three drones that you've got and speak to somebody in your corporation. You're down at the auto show at the uh, Future Tech Hub, which right. is on the main manufacturer floor on the 800 level in the south building of the Metro Toronto Convention Center right through to the 23rd of this month. Right. Thanks very much, Michael, for your time. I appreciate it. All the best. Thank you very much. That's Michael Zara. He is the CEO of Drone Delivery Canada.